All right, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. And today I'm going to be releasing a new version of the Notro client. A lot of people complained about some bugs in the last update. So in this update, we've fixed those bugs and we've also added in some new features, which we're going to be checking out in this video. If you're new around here, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more Notro client update videos like this one. Make sure to go follow me on Twitter, join my Discord, we chat all things Notro client on there. And yeah, without further ado, let's get into the video. All right, so I'm going to quickly show you how to install Notro Client V2. A lot of people had issues installing this last time, so make sure you watch this entire tutorial part of the video and don't skip anything. So you need to go to the download in the description, download it and drag it to your desktop. Then you need to right click on it and extract to. If you've got WinRAR installed, you can install it from their website, as you can see right here. Just download, install it and you can use this program to extract the .zip. If you don't have WinRAR or you can't get it, you can just open this with the Windows Explorer, drag all these folders to your desktop, make a new folder, and then just move all of these files into there. Pretty simple. Next, we need to get Optifine. This is a really crucial step, which a lot of you guys missed, which is why the client didn't work. So I've got it here and I've included it in the folder. So you just double click on it and just press install and it will say Optifine is successfully installed. If you can't open this file or it doesn't have an icon that looks like this, which is the Java icon, instead it looks something like this, then you need to go ahead and get Java from their website. I'll leave it in the description. You just press here, go to Java download, agree and download, and then just run this installer. And then you just right click on it, open with, and make sure you select Java. All right, now that's all out of the way, we just install as normal. So press Windows key R. Type in percent app data percent like that. Go to your dot Minecraft. Go to a folder called libraries here. Drag in the me folder into there. I'm just going to replace it because I've already done it. And then you need to go to your versions folder, which is here. And then just drag in this not your client folder into there. And yeah, I'm just going to replace it because I've already got it. Then you need to go into your Minecraft launcher or T launcher. You need to go to installations, new installation, find release Notro client, call it whatever you want in this box here. Press create, then select it on the little drop down menu here. Press play, tick this box, play, and the Notro client V2 should open up. So what is exactly new in Notro client V2? I hear you ask. Well, it's just a couple of minor changes, bug fixes, and a couple of new features. One of them being, look, da da. See, I can go into options and I don't get a white screen. So yeah, that was a really annoying bug that a lot of people had problems with. A lot of people sent me saying, why doesn't this work? I did say it in the video, but I don't think people watched that far. So yeah, the white screen has gone. No more white screen. And yeah, it works perfectly now. So if we go into our game here and press right shift, which is the key you need to open up the mod menu, we now have some more mod options. So if we go to mods here, as you can see, we've got settings buttons for all of the mods here. So the big thing with this update is colors. We can now make our mods different colors. So if we go to settings here, we can change it to all of these colors that we've got here. Pretty nice selection, I'd say. You can make it whatever color. You just click on it and boom. As you can see here, my keystrokes are now blue. And you just do that for the other mods as well. So if we go to CPS here, if we want to make that yellow, we can. In fact, let's make all our mods yellow. Yellow looks really nice in this client. Boom. There we go. We've got yellow keystrokes, FPS and CPS. We can also do the toggle sprint mod as well. So we just go here, select the color. Boom. We now have yellow mods. How cool is that? We can also enable and disable the backgrounds of the CPS and FPS. So we can turn that off here and we can turn that off here and boom, there you go. No more background on the CPS and FPS. I don't know. Some people like that. It looks pretty cool. We can also drag these anywhere so we can put the CPS here, FPS here, keystrokes down here. Literally drag it anywhere on your screen. It's completely up to you. So yeah, that looks really cool. We've also got the Notro Cape. That's also stayed. And you might have noticed as I'm looking down here, we have now got a brand new mod called Block Overlay, Overlay the Block. Block Overlay, Overlay the Block. And uh, yeah, you can just select whatever color you want here. And uh, yeah, it's a pretty cool mod. I don't personally use this, but uh, 
I might actually start using it. It's actually quite cool. You can make it purple. You can literally make it any color. And you get to see a little preview of it as well. Because uh, it's just right in the middle of your screen. So yeah, that looks really cool. We can now enable and disable scoreboard numbers. So if I go on uh, Hypixel here. As you can see, the sidebar at the side has got these red numbers. Which looks really ugly. So we can just go here and uh, enable that boom they're gone looks so much cleaner and if i go into a 1v1 duel here we've actually made improvements to the 1.7 animations so now when you hit someone they go fully red it doesn't go under their armor it's quite an annoying feature of 1.8 i don't know why they added it in but yeah if we just uh fight this guy here as you can see he goes fully red when i hit him really really good yeah it looks so much better Oh, this guy just doesn't know what he's doing. What are you doing? What is he doing? <laughs> this guy's so clueless. Boom. There we go. GG. So, yeah, it's a kind of a small update, really, to the Notro client. It's just squishing a load of bugs and adding in some pretty cool features. We couldn't get the resource pack organizer mod working. If you remember Lunar Client, they've only recently just added resource pack organizer after literally months so it is pretty hard to do so give us some time and uh, maybe we'll get resource pack organizer up and running on the client we also can't get replay mods as i said in my last video because you need a license for that and uh, i don't have a license obviously a couple of the mods here such as animations they've got a settings button but there's nothing there so in the future, we might add some options for animations, like if you want to turn off certain animations. Auto GG as well, which is good on Hypixel. Time changer, we might make a slider for that maybe. Yeah, I'd say this is a pretty decent update to the Notro Client V2. You can now play Minecraft, you can go through different servers, and there's no white screen of death every time you load into a world. All right, guys, so I just hopped into a Bed Wars game here. I'm going to talk a little bit more about Notro Client and my plans for it in the future. So it's a kind of question that I put to you guys. What do you want to see in the future? Do you want to see more updates like this to the client where I just keep adding more and more features? Because it's definitely something that I could probably get done. It's just whether you guys want it or not. I've got big plans for this client. Like I could do some really cool things with this client going forward. I could add a launcher, in-game shop, cosmetics. I've got so many really cool, unique ideas that you guys have probably never seen before in a client. But I'm just not really too sure if I should do it. Because although this client's got a lot of hype behind it, it is, at the end of the day, the Notro client. You know, it's my client. It's a YouTuber client, you know. I haven't seen anything done like this before. Now, I know I said when I came out with this client that I didn't want to compete with the big clients like Lunar and Badline and all that kind of thing. But honestly, with the ideas and stuff that I've got, and I actually know people that could potentially make it happen, I'm thinking about taking Notro Client to the next level. So I want to hear what you guys think. Let's just get this guy off. GG. But yeah, I'm really interested to see what you guys think of this idea. I know the answer is probably going to be 100% yes, and I'm probably digging myself into a really big hole right now in terms of what I'm promising. But yeah, I'd like to see what you guys would think. I'm just blown away by the support on this client, honestly. Like, I just thought that this was just going to be, you know, a video. People want the Notro client. It's whatever. People move on. But people are just so hyped for it. Like, every time I post something on my Discord, it gets a ton of support. And a lot of people always want the new updates or want to know when a certain mod's coming out on this client. And honestly, I can't thank you guys enough for the support on this client. And yeah, it's got me thinking about the potential uh, new version of this client. 